Let's take a look at using the Euler and the improved Euler technique to approximate some differential equation solutions. Well, y values essentially. The this time we're going to look at when the derivative is a function of x and y. Now you do get this formula in the formula book, but most of the questions I've seen on this it also states the formula in the question. So it might I mean, it might state the formula in the question. If it doesn't state the formula in the question, just look in the formula book. Okay, and obviously remember what we're doing here is we've got a differential equation. So it says dy by dx, which is a function of x and y. So essentially this is our differential equation, dy by dx is some function of x's and y's. We're not solving the differential equation, we're just approximating values along that curve. Now, <coughs> this notation, if you've not seen it before, you probably have, essentially just means that when x equals 3, y equals 2. So that's our first coordinate on our curve. We've got a step of 0 0.1. So if we start by saying, okay, so my initial x value is 3, my initial y value is 2. I'm going up in 0 0.1s, so my next x coordinate would be 3.1. And the question says we want to approximate what does y equal when x equals 3.1. So we're only going to be doing this process once. And we just want to figure out x is 3.1. What does y equal? Okay, so let's look at the formula <coughs> that we're going to use. yr plus 1 equals yr plus h f of xr yr. So we would say, well, y1 would equal y0 plus h. <coughs> and we evaluate the function with because it's a function of x and y, we have to sub in x0 and y0. So y0 is 2, h is 0 0.1. Open up a bracket. So into our function, which is our derivative, we sub in our x and our y value. So we've got x, which is 3, ln 2x plus y. And let's see what we get. So we got 2 plus 0 0.1, open up a bracket, and then we've got 3 ln of 2 times 3 plus 2, so we could just write ln of 8. And we get 2.6238. All right, so four decimal places, so 2.6238. Three, two. I always like to write it slightly more accurate and then round it at the end. So it's a four decimal place, it's 2.6238. It's a 4 dp. Next example, we've got a function of x and y again. Um, first part of the question, we want to use the Euler step-by-step -step technique. And the second part of the question says use the improved Euler method. Now, this is the first time we've seen the improved Euler. You do get it in the formula booklet, and it looks like this. Okay, so you don't need to remember it. A key thing to notice on the improved Euler, to approximate a y value, see this yr plus 1, you need the previous y value and the previous x value, but you also need the previous y value before that, so we sort of need two sets of coordinates before we can use this improved Euler. And most of the exam questions will be set up like this. So we'll use Euler first, and then we'll get like our next coordinates. And then to use the improved Euler, you'll be using like the two previous coordinates to be able to answer this question. So let's look at the first part. And just make sure you're in radians, okay? I know it doesn't mention like pi anywhere in the question, but like you've got to realise that like any type of calculus, any type of derivative or integral, if there's trigonometry involved, you have to be in radians for this to work. Like you can't just you can't be in degrees. Like degrees is just like a made up thing. Like radians is is proper math. So just think about right, the derivatives, integrals, 
Shrigs involved, must be in radiance. And we've got x equals 1 and y equals 1. Okay, so let's start by saying what we've got. So we've got x0 equals 1, y0 equals 1, x1. So we're going up with a step of 0.1, so it would be 1.1. And we want to approximate if x equals 1.1, what does y equal? So for the first part of the question, we just need to get this y1, don't we? So y1 would equal, remember we're using the Euler formula, so y1 would equal y0 plus h, evaluate the function at x0, y0, so we'd get 1 plus 0 0.1. Function is x plus 3, so that would be 1 plus 3, plus sine of y, which is also 1. Just make sure, yeah, I'm in radians. Okay, so 1 plus 0.1 times 1 plus 3, which is 4, plus sine of 1. And I'm getting 1.484147. So four decimal places. Okay, now we need to use the improved Euler method, and we want to figure out, well, if x is equal to 1.2, what does y equal? Alright, I'm just going to rub this off to give me a little bit more space. So, so far we know if x is equal to 1.1, y is equal to 1.4841. I would recommend you set it up like this so you can keep track of which values represent, you know, which x values correspond to which y values. And we're trying to figure out if x equals 1.2, what does y equal? So look at this, just be careful. Okay, we're figuring out y2 here. yr plus 1 equals yr minus 1. That is not y1. Okay, yr plus 1. yr would equal y1 and x1. This is going to be y0 which is what I was saying earlier. If they were being particularly mean in the exam, right, they might just say use the improved Euler method. Now imagine if you try to start by doing the improved Euler method, you can't just do it. Like you would have to go and do first of all do the Euler first to get one y value and then the next y value, and then to use the improved Euler, you would need two sets of information to be able to use it. Okay, so let's sub in and see what we get. Y zero is one. Two lots of h, which is zero point one. Open up a big bracket. Now we're going to evaluate the function x1 and y1. Okay, so don't forget x1 and y1 of these. So it'll be 1.1 plus 3 plus sine of 1.4841. And obviously, we only need to be accurate to three decimal places, so we, we need to make sure we use at least four decimal places here, which is the way the question is settled, isn't it? You, as you go on, you lose accuracy in each step. Okay, let's see what we get. Okay, so let's see what we get. We've got y2, which is 1 plus 2 times 0.1, so 0.2, multiplied by 1.1 plus 3, 4.1 plus sine of 1.41. 4, And I'm getting 2.019. 2 and we need to be accurate to three decimal places. Okay. 
Okay. Thanks, guys.